What's going on, R&B fam? Hey, man. Y'all know what time it is. If y'all been following our social medias, you know where I'm going in the next 24 hours, man. Uh, y'all can't see much of my setup <laughs> right now, but... Oh, excuse me. But I'm, I've already took my mic stand. My mic stand's in this bag over here. But just a small little vlog, you know, to kick off the R&B show YouTube channel. What's up, R&B fam? It's your boy, Relly Speaks. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, pro I'm just going to, you know, pack my stuff up and just kind of tell you about, you know, the trip, the show, and, you know, tell you about my equipment, shall we? So, uh... Start with just I'm letting y'all know now. This is not gonna be a heavily edited video like with the skips and cuts. I don't know how to do all that. I just prop my camera up and my ring light, turn my ring light on to look somewhat professional and just tell y'all about me packing. So, you know, it's my laptop. Things Dell and Spirian seven, I believe yeah, Experience seven. Um I can't remember all the specs on it, but this motherfucker is perfect for music production. It's been my it's been my music laptop for years. Like this thing has every song that I've ever made has been recorded on this laptop here. So all the hits you guys have heard, all the fire music you guys heard, this bad boy right here. So yeah. There you go. Package right in this back slot right here. Now this is I'm packing all this in my carry-on because I want to keep all my valuable stuff with me because y'all know airports are rough with your set. So all my clothes and other stuff is gonna be in this bag back here. Like I put my controllers or something in there, like. Something that I'm not really too worried about getting damaged because, like, my controllers are small, so I can just put that, like, tuck that in between my clothes. But this big ass PS5, yeah, not happening. So, um, oh, I'll find my mic bag in a second. I ain't gonna worry about that right now. I just kind of set my mic off to the side. And this little eyeball thing. I didn't have enough money for the chaotic eyeball, so I just bought this from Amazon. It's like 30 bucks. Works just as good as a fucking $400 chaotic eyeball. I'm not paying I'm not paying that at all. Disconnect all of this. My studio fits all in this in this backpack. Like <laughs> my studio is fitting right in here. Mobile studio, y'all. Person have their own stuff, man. If you in a, if you into making music, buy your own setup, bro. Especially if you're a rap, like any aspiring artists, rappers, you know, I'm pretty sure we have a lot of those. Uh buy your own equipment, bro. Stop stop wasting your money. Stop wasting your money with with, with, with these goddamn these producers and stuff going to their studios and shit for them to mix your song all fucked up and you know. Just don't even, you know, do it yourself. I, I taught myself, I taught myself how to record. I don't lie, at first it was hard because it took me, I remember it took me about an hour or two to get my mic to connect to um, the interface or not the interface or connect like into the FL studio to even turn it on. It took me two hours to do that. Because I was trying, because I'm a person that tries to, do stuff himself and like i don't want i don't want help so when i feel like i gotta ask for help I, it irritates me I'm, i don't know i'm weird bro. i'm weird i like to do stuff by myself especially especially it's my first time doing it because in my mind i feel like i should know how to do it like in my mind it's simple like a three-year-old can do this so why can't i that's you know my mindset on it but Put my interface in there. Uh, you might have to get out of my chair from this long ass XLR cable. Yeah, I definitely will have to get out of my chair. Alright. 
this video might be kind of long. But we ain't doing no cuts, no edits, man. We, this is this is raw. This is raw right here. So, um, I ain't gonna lie, this might get edited out. <laughs> Me trying to untangle this fucking long ass 10 foot XLR cable. Because what is you stuck on, first off? You shouldn't even be stuck on anything. XLR cable is disconnected. My headphones are right here. These are the Audio Technica, I think, uh, AT2020s. I think $150, man. Get you one of them. Oh, my mic. I don't think I said no, my mic. My mic is also Audio Technica AT. I had to look it up, y'all. I had, I had to look it up. I had to look it up. I'm sorry if I don't, you know. This video is very unorganized. I just wanted to do a little vlog. But I, I, I believe, I think that's the AT24 or something like that. I'll look it up at the tour the end of the video and, like, you know, show y'all a picture on, it, uh, on Amazon. <laughs> So, and mind you, I spent roughly, say, a thousand dollars on my full studio setup for you know full thing, all bells and whistles. You know that's the mic. The la the highest thing out of all of it was my laptop. The laptop was seven hundred. The mic was, I believe, like a hundred and ten. So I got it on a deal. Um. Like I said, this was 30 bucks. The stand was like 18, which is the stand is already packed in my other bag. Uh, the headphones like 150, the XLR cut was like $10. Like the, the wires and stuff, that's like the least of your worries. The wires are cheap. It's just the actual, um, the actual um, equipment itself and the doll. FL Studio, if you want to get it, like all the stuff to record is $200. That's the, um, I think the producer or artist is one of the two or it's like signature or something like that. It's 200 bucks. You get that and it gives you everything you need to record. All the other ones that give you like small stuff is like, it, cause you can buy FL depending on what you're doing. Like if you just making beats and you're not really tripping about audio recording. So you'll buy the, probably the producer one, I believe it is. It'll give you all the up-to-date stuff with beat making and, uh, you know, all them little plugins and stuff that, you know, beat makers use. But anything else is mostly uh, vocals. But I use a lot of third-party art um, plugins. Like, I use, for my auto-tune, I use Antar's best auto-tune, hands down, that you can use. There's other things that you can use, too, if you can't pay for Antar's. But Antar's is running a nice deal. Where it's like twenty four dollars a month, and they give you everything. Like every plugin that they have, twenty four dollars a month, you have full access to it. So get, definitely get that. I ain't sponsored by we ain't sponsored by nobody, but it's, I'm just giving y'all some. You know what I'm saying? Putting y'all on game. You know what I'm saying? Putting the people on game. Some of y'all may know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all may not, and it's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're here for. Network, grow, and help each other, man. But um, this is the R&B show's first time hitting the stage. Can't wait to see my baby. You know she been geeking all week, excited and happy. And trust me, I am as well. Cause after I'm finished packing this stuff up, I'm gonna spark the. And I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. Because I still got work tonight. But I'm only staying there for two hours. You know, just get the little bread. And then I'm going to go on out of town. I'm leaving. My flight leaves at 5.50. Then I'll stop, make a stop in Chicago. 
uh, at Midway, the smaller um, airport. Then I'm there for about an hour and a half or so. Then it's on the Cincinnati, man. And uh, I'll honestly, y'all, I might go live. I might go live like while I'm sitting in the airport, you know, just talk to you guys, you know, vibe out till I have to get on the plane and I'll probably end the live and I'll go back live when I touch down, you know, again, just interactions, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Oh, I need to bring my other speaker because I'm not, I'm not bringing my big speakers. Um, I'm so sorry that I do not remember the names of these speakers, but they are very nice speakers. They were a hundred dollars. Um, if I find if I find the names of these stuff, I will make a separate video. Like, you know what? That's another idea. I will make a video on every last one of my uh, my pieces of studio equipment, names, prices, and I got everything from Amazon. So you ain't gotta go to no music stores or nothing like that. You can just go on Amazon, find it, order it, and there you go. Simple as that. Simple as that, y'all. Speaker in here. This might be okay. Yeah, that might be a tight fit. That might have to go in my bag. My controllers. Cause my PlayStation still got to fit in there too. So I got my computer. I got my interface. Interface is in there. XLR cables in there. Headphones in there. Computers in there. My that's all we put down. My eyeball is gonna go. In my bag as well. Hopefully, I'll get smashed. Um, oh, vital fucking piece of equipment. The charger to my laptop. And like I told y'all, this, oh, and just in case y'all was wondering too, your boy's a gamer. Now, this is the Legion 5. Legion 5 Pro, I believe. $1,700. It's a gaming laptop, y'all. Sorry, I ain't dusted her off, but 16-inch display. There's your boy's face right there. LED, you know. This is what I be gaming. This is what I do most of my PC gaming. Like, when y'all see me in RP and stuff, this is where I be at. This is a RTX 3070 in here. Crazy-ass graphic card. I can't look up the specs right now. I mean, I can, but... This is not a gaming video. It's vlog for the show. Separate video. Leave some comments if y'all want to see that. You know, um, gonna be getting on this call. That's why I'm not packing my PlayStation just now because I'm gonna play a few more games of Call of Duty. I've been grinding it out, you know. But uh, pack that. Oh, what else? My charger. Oh, cannot forget the charger to my laptop because. We ain't gonna record nothing without the charger. Because the battery life, like I told y'all, that computer's old. So the battery life on that computer is it's at its wit's end. <laughs> it's, it's, it's to the point where it's pretty much non existent at this point. I already have my charger in there for my phone. Okay, this will go right on in with everything else. This will be laptop charger. Boom. All right, I think we all packed up, man. It's that simple. You know, just a few things. It's mostly wires. You know, it's just mostly wires. And I got a bag to put this in. I'm real protective over my mic. I don't know if it'll, like... Say, oh, that's a yeah, AT2020. Yep, there you go. Audio Technica. Y'all can see it. Audio Technica. AT, AT2020. This is a, a cardioid mic. Cardioid is basically like it's cardioid and condensers. Kid, cardioids are more for people who's gonna like really vocalize. You know, I do a lot of singing, so this one will capture your vocals a lot better. Than a condenser mic, I believe I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, hey, let me know. But I, you know, I looked up which was the two, and I think condenser uh, microphones are a lot more uh, expensive. 
So of course I went with the AT2020. This is a perfect mic. I recorded all my songs with this mic. Y'all, you know, y'all hear my music. This is what I use. Again, I got this for about $110. It was on sale, but I'm very particular with my mics. I got a bag that I put it in because again, you fuck your mic up, ain't no telling what type of sound you gonna get out this damn thing if you fuck it up. But it's very nice. I don't know if you can see like the little, yeah, y'all probably can't see it. It's like the little ball that's in there getting everything. Because let me tell y'all a funny story. I first got this mic and I was recording. I'm like, man, this mic is ass. Like, why the fuck? Like, why does it sound like that? Why did I put my mic in backwards? It says right here, back. <laughs> and I put it in and I was like, you know, rapping, doing my things, testing it out. I was just doing melodies, just testing it out. And I write one of my songs. But I'm like, why do I sound so low and muddy? And you know what I'm saying? And that's another thing about cardio and mics. At the back of it, they're, they they got their own type of sound isola uh, isolation. It only takes sound from directly in front of it. You can't, when you record, I had to tell my friends this all the time when they record. You get up, however close you feel like you need to be for the song, because that differs as well. You have to talk directly into the mic. You can't be over here. You can't be over here. You can't rap like this. You can't rap like that. You can't rap like this, like that. Directly into the mic. Because the back is resisting sound. So to think of it as like a barrier. This back, the back part of this mic is this. It's my hand. It's trying to stop air, all sound from the back. So I'm, I'm rapping loud as hell directly into the back of it. And it's resisting me. So it sounded horrible, y'all. But... Perfect fucking mic for people who, you know, you're on a budget and you want a nice mic, a nice studio quality mic to work with. Audio Technica, Audio Technica AT2020, get you one. And then further on down the road, when you got a little more money, you can upgrade because I'm planning on upgrading and I might give this mic away to somebody, you know, might, you know, do a little giveaway. I'm like, hey, you want a free mic? No, head send it over. But yeah, Audio Technica AT2020. Uh, I have to find out what my headphones are, but again, I, I'll do a separate video, like ex further explaining more of my equipment to y'all, but, ooh, I guess I can just throw this in here, just so I hope they hurt them, I'm gonna get smashed too bad, I hope, but, yeah, man, um, to tell y'all about the show, because I don't think I said anything about the show. The show is November 17th. Uh, it'll be in Westchester, Ohio. Of course, it'll be me and my lovely lady, the other half of the R&B show, Bringing the Cold. It's her show, and she just invited me. You know what I'm saying? Being the loving woman that she is, she invited us. She, she booked it, and then said, hey, baby, you want to perform? We can get out here. Came on, um, you know, coming on out there. And we're going to rock the stage. We're very excited to hit the stage together. You know what I'm saying? We're very excited to bring that to y'all, you know, so y'all can see us in action. I know y'all have seen me a lot performing with my guys. And, you know, I think it's just time to hit the stage with my woman. And then show the other side of me because y'all feel like y'all see more of the aggressive, more turned up side. Y'all forget that I do. I'm, I'm a very versatile artist. I do a lot of other different music. I, like I said, I, I rap. I can heavily like lyrically rap i can fun I, well i can't funny rap i want to do like like Lil dicky i would love to like funny rap like that but i do more serious rap gangster rap uh love songs pain songs i sing a little bit here and there i do a lot of stuff like if I, however i'm feeling because let me let y'all in on a little something because i'm a I'm, that's another separate video that i'm gonna do more like an artist bio and i do that on my channel uh just giving y'all insight on me you know, my writing process, how I think, but just a small insight. I write off of my emotion, which I feel like every artist should do to a certain extent, especially if you're good at it. I write off pure emotion. Like anything I'm feeling at the time, like most songs that I wrote that are slow and sad were probably something that was on my mind at the time. And I just kind of put it down on paper because that's usually what I do. It's like I feel some type of way. Or there's something on my mind, something's bothering me or whatever. I tend to write about it because music is my therapy, you know. But again, not too much about myself. I'll say that for another time. 
But I'm excited for the show. I'm excited to see my baby. And again, I don't know if I'm just going to make a video of me, hey, in the airport, or hey, da, da, da. I might just go live, you know, so y'all can interact, you know, ask me questions if y'all want, um, discuss songs, and whatever. Y'all probably can't send songs, like, of course, I can't blare music in the airport, but, you know, uh, we're going to be going live when we get there. We got a few ideas that we want to do. We wanna okay, take I had an interruption. Hopefully, I can splice these two videos together. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll figure it out. But um, we got a lot of ideas between me and her. We want to um, we want to go live when we get there. You know, we both smokers, so we want to like go live and have a, just a talk session, a debate session, and everybody pull up. You know, sit and watch the live, smoke y'all blunt with us. You know, we about to roll up, we about to smoke with y'all, y'all smoke with us. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we can talk about various topics. You know, we can go live for a minute and we will do just various topics. You know, and talk about ongoing stuff, we can talk about music stuff, we can talk about personal stuff, whatever, whatever y'all, whatever comes up, man, it's just conversation, but, uh, I ain't gonna make this video too long, you know, I'm about to just add on this other piece, because I was interrupted, but, um, again, R&B fam, one of the greatest, most quickest growing platforms, man, we only been doing this, coming up on a year now, and we're almost at a thousand, that is a milestone to us. Now we just want to build our YouTube page. Hopefully, y'all mess with the future content. We want to do more like challenges, pranks. We want to get the kids involved. We want to do a lot, man. We got a lot uh, planned in store for this um, YouTube channel. And we hope y'all enjoy it and y'all along for the ride, man. But this has been your boy Relic Speaks. Packing my studio, putting, you know. Yeah, you know I mean, and then I'm gonna put my PlayStation in here. It's probably this bag is probably gonna be pretty heavy, but you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying I'd rather have all my valuables with me than being thrown in the back of in a cargo hold or something. But again, it's me, your boy, really speaks. You know what I'm saying? And I will see y'all in Cincinnati. Keep it positive and keep it pushing.